Hello, this is Robert with Beyond 20. Today we're using ShareWell version 5.0 and we want to go over the options for exporting a full backup. In order to do any type of database backup exports, we want to open up the orange pill. Ensure we're selecting the correct database. In this case, our production system is called ShareWell Demo. Later, if we want to restore the production system over our development system, we'll show that in a later video. For now, select the production ShareWell demo. Once we log into the orange pill, we're going to go over to the left hand side under categories and select database. At the top, select export data. Here we can export a single business object or in this example, we want to export the entire system. The entire system includes all settings, all data. However, there's a few different options down here below under content. We can export all data, which this includes attachments, unless you select don't export attachments. If you've been using ShareWell for a few years now, you probably have quite a few tickets with multiple attachments. And for development pur purposes, you might not actually need all those attachments moved over to the development server. Another option, export table structure only. This is going to be a snapshot of your system, all the business objects that are associated with your system, any maps that might have been installed, any database settings, any security settings. This is just going to be the actual structure. Now, there's two other parts. There's the data within your business objects, such as your major or supporting objects, such as SLAs, surveys, incidents and service requests and if that contains confidential information we may want to export table structure only however there's one other option this third one down here export structure and lookup table data this option is going to include the data that's of the business object lookup tables now this might be useful because things like your service catalog are maintained through lookup table data items like product catalog or incident statuses. This might be needed in order to do any kind of development work, but you're not going to actually have any specific incidents or service requests. So if you have confidential information inside your tickets, this last option might be the best option for you. Select the one that makes the most sense. In this case, we're going to export all data. We don't care about attachments. And we'll select a location to save this to. Depending on the size and where the database is located, this next operation may take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes or even an hour if you have a lot of data inside your database. The wizard shows every single object that's being exported as it's being exported. Since this is a small database, it only took 10 seconds to do the full export. Now we have an exact copy of the entire database. We may decide to send this database to a development team, or we may want to restore this in a test or dev environment to perform certain actions and test out certain scenarios. We'll show that in a later video. Thanks for watching. This was Robert with Beyond 20.